Hey guys, it's Paul, uh, bluejeansmedia.com. We're going to continue this Zoho training. Uh, next lesson is how to import your accounts, being your the, the companies you work with, and how to import the contacts for those companies. So, what I've got is a is a uh, a sample data list. Uh, how you get your your data from your email contacts from your um, from your accounts program, from whatever, maybe you've got a, a solution that you do to track your jobs. Um, you need to export it as a CSV file. Uh, how you do that is obviously gonna be many different ways, but you're gonna get a file that looks like this. It's a spreadsheet that's gonna have first name, last name, company name, address, city, country, whatever it is that you've got, more information, the better. So what I'm gonna do first is import the company of this, and then I'm gonna tag the contacts to the company so what i'm going to do is get, click on accounts um, and import accounts right i'm going to choose that file which is for me uh that us one there uh it's going to say what do you want to do with duplicates if you think there's duplicates on there you can overwrite one with another find your duplicate uh, where will it be it'll probably be an account name now you need to do this before you uh, before it's the free version. Otherwise, it's a paid. This is a paid version. This. So if you don't do this in the first fifteen days and you don't pay for Zoho, you're not going to be able to do this. Um, so I'm going to overwrite anything. It's going to ask me advanced options. What you're going to do with dates and stuff. But yeah, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, if you select this option, if I was existing record, okay. And then it's going to say match the fields. So rating, there's not going to be anything. Phone, I'm going to put as uh, phone one. Uh, account site, you're not going to put anything unless you've got a site set up. Rating, website, obviously there's a website form on that um, thing. What you want to do on your spreadsheet is make sure you've got headers set up. So if you've got a, if you've downloaded a list of emails and um, and you've got this without headers this is where you're going to want to have headers so that you can pick out account type nothing ownership employees SIA code account name right so that's going to be the company name right so that's important to, to set up uh, parent ticket account number billing street so that's going to be address city state um, Billing code, no, billing, billing street, shipping, shipping city, province. Uh, so that may be zip code, billing code. I don't know. Am I missing something obvious there? Shipping, blah, blah, blah. And then that's it. So then I'm going to go next. It's going to say, you sure? And then you can go import. And it will import those contacts. So there we see. So here we go now, here's the account name, here's the phone numbers, here's the website, it's tagged it to me, uh, and I'm done, right? So now I've got 500 contacts, all done in, in you know a quick few clicks. So all these now don't have contacts, so if you go over to contacts here, there's nothing there. So what we're gonna do is the same thing, but we're gonna import contacts. So I'm gonna pick that file again, which was the US one, and again, you want to do this in the first 15 days while there's no limitations because as you get to more, um, then you, you're not going to be allowed. Um, you're going to hit limits and you have to do it 500 at a time. Whereas if you do it in the first 15 days when you've got the pro trial, you can do it do it quickly and you'll be able to set it all up. Um, you're going to, again, duplicates. If you're on the free version, it won't let you do this. You, I'm going to overwrite. Enable manual contact. If you do 500, you've got to manually click every one, so leave that unchecked. Uh, choose a unique field to find existing contacts. Uh, so, uh, email, right? We'll use email to find duplicates because if there's the same email in there, it's probably. Uh, select the records. Okay, let's go. So, again, you're going to find, you know, last name, first name, account name is going to be company name. Vendor name, uh, you don't. Well, you may use if you've got if you've got a vendor uh, set up. Email title, if you've got Mister or Mrs. in there, 
department again it's picked phone two on mine so I'm going to put phone one and then it's going to say secondary for other phone so then I'm going to put phone two email sorted department fax date of birth mobile Twitter you know if you've got these other fields just map them out if you've got Skype names and you've got Twitter names great but if you haven't then don't worry about it again Billing information for contacts might not be as important, but I'm going to put in uh, address, city, city, zip code, and I'm pretty happy, right? So next, it's going to say you're going to map these fields, yes, and then it's going to import those 500. Uh, I did 500 because it's faster. If you're doing 20,000 at once, then it's going to take a while, and I didn't want to slow the video down. So now I've got the contacts tagged to the account, so if I click done now I've got a uh, account name I've got flow book book me and then if I go to accounts now I go to this one and over here it says contacts one and here's the contact right so now I've got a contact tagged to the account I've imported 500 you can do it you know maybe you want to do a hundred or, or ten do like ten test it and then do it all but Pretty easy to do uh, when you've got that full list. So your challenge is gonna be, how do I get this list of contacts? Um, and depending on what other systems you've used, what other databases you've got, that's where you will um, have to get a bit funky. But ask me any questions below. If Tell me what programs you're using that you need to get the, the CSV information out and I'll give you some sort of link to how to do it or I'll help you do it. Um, and if you're really struggling, I can do this for you, but you'd have to drop me an email um, if, if you're looking for someone to put um, these contacts in your system for you. So that's the end of this lesson. Um, as I say, leave a comment and uh, we're going to move on to the next lesson. And hope you hope you, if you're on Blue Jeans Media's training program for Zoho, then just click Marcus Complete and you'll just jump to the next lesson. See you all soon. Have a great day.